Okay, so let's dig a little further and let's talk about how to use live for your keys patches, right? So we talked about how to create great pads for worship. Now let's talk about how to use live for keys patches. So the very first thing, we talked about the instrument rack earlier, but what's great about this is we can layer sounds and sounds on top of different sounds. Um, but what's really nice kind of as we work through this and as we use this is I can go in and make these sounds to where they respond either to what key I'm playing in, um, I do octave mapping if you're used to typical keyboards where I say on the lower side I want you to sound do this sound, on the higher side I want you to do this. I can also map it by velocity. So uh, if you look at this patch that I have, this is a patch with four different sounds. Uh, and first, let me show you. Each of these sounds is another instrument rack. Uh, within that instrument rack are lots of things. So I could dig into this one. This is a piano patch with tons of stuff. Maybe looks a little overwhelming, but initially, uh, all you see is just this, right? Um, here's another one with lots of different sounds. That's an operator. That's an operator there. But if you look at key, you can see these sounds are mapped based on uh, whatever uh, octave that I want them to play in. So I can take all these sounds and instead of four layers just playing on top of each other constantly, I can lay out the sounds across my keyboard to kind of create this, this unique sounding thing uh, that I want to get just with one patch. The other thing I can do, like I said, I can change it to where um, only certain sounds make sound, or I hear them depending on how hard or soft I play those, and that's a term called velocity. So you can look, if I go to velocity, all these play from uh, the whole range whether I hit hard or soft, but this last one, that just says operator, only plays when I really, really dig in hard. So I've mapped them by key, I've mapped them by velocity, um, and they're all in this, op, uh, this instrument rack, so they're really laid out well. And this is what we end up getting. I get kind of this nice piano sound. And you can see it's playing these two layers. So it's got um, this sound, it's got a little higher sound, which I'll go to. Right? So a normal piano, low. It's just a nice sound in piano, there's no effects on that. But as I go high, here it's got some reverb on that, so I could play maybe a chord. Now, you'll notice when I hit that note, the bass got substantially higher and louder and more awesome. Um, because, <laughs> if you'll notice, I also layered this patch in here that says low end. So if I solo this out by itself, if I go to key mapping, you'll notice when I get to a certain point on my keyboard, not there, right there, that's when my low bass kicks in, right? And you can hear it right here. So what's cool, right, is we have this piano, and maybe that's a bit loud, so I'll tuck it in there real nice. The bass is never too loud, right? But I have my normal piano patch, but then, Right? And we've got that low bass. So if that's mixed really nice, no one's going to tell that you've got a higher uh, piano with delay and reverb, and no one's going to tell there's a hip hop sounding bass in here. <laughs> but they're going to feel it, and it's going to be more impactful. So here's the last thing and the last sound I have, though, is if I play higher and really dig in, uh, let me solo it so you can hear it. I really have to play hard. Actually, let me adjust the velocity so it triggers a little sooner. Then we have kind of a nice synth lead loaded in here. But I really have to dig in, so I'm gonna adjust it even more. Not a great piano player. So you can see I'm bringing that to where if I play, right, now we can hear it. So that sounds uh, maybe a little out of place. We have a piano patch, but if we blend that in, right? And again, if we get that level just right, now we go from just this boring piano patch to a great sounding lead patch up high, a great sounding low bass. Right? So that's how we can host keyboard sounds in live. 
and get some really, really crazy, good sounding uh, patches going. 